Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brother and sister of this world. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a message, and the message uh, is from the book of so many scriptures. But the title of the message is, if you do good, do it in God's name. If you do good, do it in God's name. And the first scripture reading really going to be coming from the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 33. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. So God is telling us right now, if you do good to someone who do good to you, what credit will you receive? Even the sinners does that. You see? If you do good to somebody who do good to you, what credit are you going to receive? Even the sinner, they does that. But what I want to say right now, that when you do good, do it in God's name. Because you don't know tomorrow what's going to happen. The person who you do good for, do not expect payment back from that person. Just do it in God's name. Because you don't know tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't know. That person could be in authority. That person could be very privileged by blessing. Could be a higher person in the government or somebody. And that person could recognize your family or somebody and pay you. But you know, God has a mysterious way of performing miracles. Nobody can understand God. So when you do good, do it in God's name. You understand? Because the world we live in right now, some people think that, oh yeah, the world is too big. No, the world is small. I tell you. So when you do good, do not expect payment back. Just do it in God's name. Hallelujah. Let me read the second scripture. The second scripture is going to be coming from the book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 16. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have for such sacrifice are pleasing to God. So when you do good, do not forget to share what good you have with people who don't have. Because if you do this kind of thing, it's a sacrifice that is pleasing God. God is going to be happy with your attitude. Hallelujah. So do not expect payment back. When you do good, just leave it. Leave it with God. God is the one that's going to give you your reward. Because I know the story about a guy who came crying to me. Oh, pastor, please pray for me. I'm going to a stretch right now. I said, what's going on? He said, oh, the woman who brought me to America. Oh, she sees my social security card. She sees my ID. She want me to be paying her some money every month. So right now, it's a bitterness in my house when the cook the girl had gave me. Oh, my God. My brother and sister, well, let me tell you today. When you do good, just leave it with God. Not because he brought him to America, so it means that, oh yeah, he should pay you back. No. No. You do good, you have done the good already. Leave it with God. You don't know what that ball going to do for you tomorrow. You don't know what he's going to do for your children, children, or your children tomorrow. You don't know. So, yeah, leave it with God. God is the one that's going to give you a reward. Thank you for bringing him to America, but you don't have to seize it. So let's get a car, a passport, his, his, everything you seize it. When you cut, you don't give him. Then on Sunday morning, you jump in the check, you start singing hallelujah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Are you kidding me? Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be like the Pharisees and the Sudanese. Don't be like them. When you do good, do it in God's name. Your reward is going to be given by God. God is going to give you your reward. Don't do, don't do good that you expect payment back. God do not like that. God said, even the sinner does that. Even the sinners that does that. You do good, you want somebody to pay you back. When you do good at somebody who you know you want, they will pay you back. What kind of good is that? But the Bible says when you do good, you, when you have good, share it with people. It's one of the greatest fasting that God is going to be pleased with. And when the Bible says get it from Hebrew, take things for 16. When you do good, just 
forget it. God will give you your reward. God will give you your reward. There are some people today because they're dead good. He brought the person to America. You want you keep being an emotional grudge against you that the party man, the party can call you in to give you money. No, don't for, forget about that. God is the one that's gonna give you your reward. Don't keep grudge against him. Don't stop stop forgiving him fool. Don't take his ID, his passport, his, his social security card. No. That is not good. You want something back in return. No, when you do good, you don't receive nothing in return. You leave that with God. God's going to give you your reward. Don't be a hypocrite. There's Sunday morning you go to the church. Then when the pastor say, oh, let's go, let's go. everybody come and give the title. You start acting like you gave it. You are not a good giver. You are a hypocrite. Desist. Change for that attitude. When you do good, you leave it. God will give you your reward tomorrow. God will do it. Oh, there is nothing that God can't do. He can do anything that he want to do. God perform miracles in a, in a, in a trickle of an eye to you perform. That's who he is. And let me read again. And it's, the scripture that I'm going to be reading is from the book of Proverbs. 11 verse 25. A general person will prosper. Whosoever that refresh others will be refreshed. You see what God say? A general person will prosper. Whosoever refresh a general person, that person is going to be refreshed. Whoever refresh others, that person is going to be refreshed. A general person going to prosper. When you do good, though, you are expecting for the person to come and pay you back. You want to tell the person, you say, oh, yeah. Uh, you say you, you're trying to bring some people here. Uh, let me see the letter. Who are you bringing? Oh, put that person there for me. Put that name there. Put that other name there. No! Don't do that. Don't be like a hypocrite. When you do good, turn your back. And God is going to give you a reward. Don't tell the person why you, you no, know, no, no, no. When you, you feel it too good for the person, the person is on his own. The person can do whatever they want to do. Look at what you that want to do to the ball. She said, hey, hey, so let's get the car. Hey, ID, they can't get you any food. Tell him to do this and do that. No, you don't do that. You don't infringe on somebody, right? You don't do that. When you do good, you, you, you do it in God's name. Do not expect payment by or somebody to pay you back. No, you call yourself Christian? You're in the church on Sunday morning calling God's name and you acting like a hypocrite? No, then you are not worthy to be in a church. Because when you do good, you try to even that or don't have to even remember it. Then the person tell you, say, oh, oh mama, this, this, this thing that I have for you. Great! And the person can't, the person can't even can't say you, you have the right, according to the Bible, to say, oh, let it be. I just do it in God's name. I did it in God's name. Don't worry, don't worry to pay me back. Yes! God is going to bless you. But you're expecting payment. You're keeping grudge and animosity against the person. Because the person cannot... They have not given you anything yet. Oh my God. You know what? Do you know tomorrow? Do you know what's going to happen tomorrow? Do you? Jesus Christ has the whole world in his hand. He can bless anybody. Anybody's life can change tomorrow. You don't know the person's life tomorrow. You don't know who he's going to become tomorrow. You, you, you don't know if you're going to help your children, children, children. You don't know. So forget about it when you do good. Don't remember it. Leave it with God. He's going to give you a reward. Oh my God. It's too much. All over the community, you will hear that news. You do good for the person. You you try to keep the person on a ball. Sticking there. That I'm going to give you that. to give you that. No. That person was destined to come to wherever they are right now. God, a God who has destined everybody to be wherever they are. So don't you know, deprive that person of his right. 
Hallelujah. My brother and sister, the Lord is watching us. The Lord is watching everyone. When you do good, do it in God's name. Hallelujah. And let me give you the next scripture again. The next scripture is going to be coming from the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 27 to 28. Proverbs 3, verse 27 to 28. And I read, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. When it is in your power to do it, you better do it. Do not withhold. You sort of do good for somebody and you're there keeping the person and paying the person is a never. You tell the person, go come out tomorrow. Come out tomorrow. You get it. If you don't have it, okay, God knows. But you have it that you play and no and no teeth at the person. Come out tomorrow. Then you, when the you on the person tell and then you like start laughing at the person. Are you kidding me? If you know to do good, do it. The Bible said, do it. Don't be pushing the party around. Go come out tomorrow. Eh? Go come out tomorrow. You got the party ice you? So you play here like a football? Go come out tomorrow. Go come out tomorrow. Okay. Nobody knows tomorrow. That person could be in a very good position. God could bless you in a very good position. And all that you're promising, go come out tomorrow. You Tomorrow, I saw you go hear the news about who he is. How are you going to feed? How are you going to feed when you hear tomorrow that, oh yeah, he, be, he is this person, he this, oh yeah, he in power, he this. How are you going to feed? Why you had it? To get to him, you are playing him like a former. Go come out tomorrow, go come out tomorrow, or they attend to a whole year. Go come out tomorrow. Hallelujah. My brother and sister, we got to change. Turn away from your ugly ways. God is watching you people. He's watching. And I read the next scripture. The next one going to be coming from the book of Luke chapter 38. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. And I read. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over will be into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. You see what God say? Anything that you do, you, know, you sow your seed, you bless anyone, you do good to anyone today. Today you do the good to them. Tomorrow, you don't know what's going to happen. You know the Bible say? Good measure. The same, the same measure you use against that person, the same measure that God is going to do. Your own is going to be running over, shaking together, and, and they're, going to, and they're going to appear right on your lap. That blessing is going to appear on your lap. My brother and sister, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. When you do good, do it in God's name. Do not worry about all how you want to get reward. Your reward is going to get it, be given to you by God. So don't worry. Let us pray. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion, power, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you and I'll be back again. In Jesus' name. Amen.